Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of The Blind Pastor Plays. I'm Derek. I'm a pastor, a multi-time author, and of course a gamer. And I do all this legally blind. But this cross doesn't get me down, and neither should yours. Remember that the Lord's Word tells us in 2 Corinthians 12 and verse 9 that His strength is made perfect in our weakness. Start using whatever you're facing, whatever issue you're up against today, to be a strength for the Lord today. By overcoming it and showing others, you got this. Today, the challenge for this legally blind gamer is I'm going to play, as you can see, moving over to hard. I'm going to try to get through story mode with my favorite character, Jago, on hard here on Killer Instinct. One of my favorite childhood games. But before we get into that, our Bible verse we're going to review today comes to us from Paul in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, verse 11. There we're told to put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Simply put, do you have that armor of God on today? Are you strong in your faith? Are you strong enough with the Lord to mentally, emotionally, physically, and most importantly, spiritually, stand against the temptations that the devil throws our way. Simply put, an aptly pro fitting with this game, are you ready to fight on for the Lord today? With that being said, let's get it going. Music's classic, isn't it? Jago is always one of my favorites. We're gonna get this rocking and rolling. Ooh. Ninja. All right. Gonna attempt to do this on hard. You guys know, anybody that's played this game, this is not the easiest thing to do on hard, so. Fight on, as we said. We're fighting on for the Lord, and we're fighting on in Killer Instinct today. Fight on. Oh, he's like the guy, Killer Instinct. <laughs> the way that guy says the stuff is awesome. And here we go. He's ready. Ooh, wow, that's, that's kind of... Ooh, that's kind of freaky. This lady's kind of scary. Ooh. She tried to teleport. She's a defensive fighter. Whoa, that was wild. We're building. We're, get, we're leveling up. It's like Spider Man, Spider Woman. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm afraid your path ends here. Supreme victory. I'm afraid your path ends here. That's pretty good, guys. We're off to a good start. If you like this, slap a like on this video. It helps us out. You enjoy fighting games let me know I grew up a fighting game fan so 
This is right up my alley. If you'd like to see more, let me know. We're gonna keep rocking and a rolling. So glad to have you guys with me. Always appreciate it. Never take it for granted. It's truly a blessing to get to. Ooh. Truly great to get to know brothers and sisters of like faith. Oh no, he's tearing me up. Oh. It's like Johnny Storm. Human Torch. How could fire hurt fire? But hey, we'll go with it, right? <laughs> Got him in the corner. Yeah. Ooh. No, I just, no, I Ooh, that was crazy. I like to keep my distance. Oh no. Gotcha. <laughs> Guy's going crazy. Oh, drop. Well, we're moving on up to the top side. Yeah, Killer Instinct was right up there. It never got the recognition that it deserves, you know. Kind of got overshadowed by, you know, Street Fighter and other kind of games like that. But I grew up with my SNES, and I had the original Killer Instinct. Played it in the arcade. Oh, wow. oh no. Got you in the corner. Yeah. Oh, no. Game, you can lose your health so fast. If they get you trapped in a combo. <laughs> I'm afraid your path ends here. That was sweet. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. We're doing good, guys. We're rolling on. Moving on. This guy, Killer Instinct, always had that guy. The announcer was like something that would draw you to it in the in the uh, arcades, you know, 
Oh, he's had a pretty cool voice. Oh, fight on. Oh, no. It's Jurassic Park. Jurassic World. The Raptor. It's Blue. My boy Blue, he can't do this. Don't do me like that, Blue. Actually, his name's Rip Thor. <laughs> And he was around before Blue ever existed. He's in the original Killer Instinct game. Gotcha. Ooh, right out of the sky. Look at that. Still did good. We're still doing good. Perfect. This is on hard, guys. <laughs> I don't want to jinx myself, but we're doing all right. Thanks to you guys being with me. You're rooting me on, man. Such a blessing to be able to play this old game. I'm playing it through a smile here today. These old games bring back. This is a. Uh, the modern version, if you've never seen this before, most of you probably have, but this is the 2013 where they try to revitalize Killer Instinct, bring it back. I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool, pretty sweet. Uh-oh. That ain't good. Right, this is God's Word tells us, and... Deuteronomy 30 and 19 sets before us life and death. Therefore, choose life that you and your offspring may live. I choose life. You told us to choose life or death. I choose life. I choose God. I choose a life of faithfulness to God and my Savior Jesus Christ. And if we live right, and we take a knee on that final day, we get to live forever. How cool would that be? I mean, that's a concept you can't even wrap your head around. Being able to see all those who are faithful in the Lord again. All the people we spent our entire life reading about in God's Word, like Paul and Peter. God Himself. How cool would that be? This in Christ. Gotcha. Oh. oh, yeah, get to see those guys. That just it's mind blowing. Ah. Doing good. We're doing good. Trying to do. That's the challenge today, guys. Can this pastor make it all the way through? <laughs> Killer Instinct on hard difficulty. Complete playthrough with Jiggle. So far, so good. It's looking good. Target spotted. <laughs> Look at she. She found it. Orchid. One of the OG Killer Instinct characters. Oh, 
Kinda has a song, sounds like Madonna. Doesn't it? Like 2000s Madonna? Like the ray of light and all that stuff? Sorry, that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> oh no! Oh no. He's getting mad. Come, but if you keep your distance, you do better. Wait for your openings. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm afraid your power is here. Oh, yeah. Doing all right, guys. We're doing all right. I think Fulgore is the final guy. That's who we're trying to get to. Let me know in the comments what you think of this game, what you think of the channel. Remember to follow us here on Poetically Christian Game or Twitch or follow us on YouTube on Poetically Christian. The likes, the shares, that helps us get God's will out to others. Godly content. How many channels, gaming channels have you watched where guys are swearing and playing vulgar games? Created this so Christians could have a place to go, watch some games, have some fun, talk about God and faith, grow in faith. How cool is that? Faith and fun. I've been looking for a channel like that my whole life. And that's why I created this, because I couldn't find one. And I like a variety in my game, so I don't like guys playing nothing but Fortnite or Apex or Call of Duty Warzone, nothing against those games. But I kind of get tired of seeing the same thing. And, uh, Hats off to anybody who can play those games well. I just wanted variety, so. And I'm an old retro guy, so. Well, I did what I did. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm grateful to have each and every one of you. And let's, for a special, let's torch this robot. Oh. And that's it, guys. I think this legally blind pastor just beat Killer Instinct on hard. Let's see the story here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, I thank you guys so much for joining me here on another edition of The Blind Pastor Plays. And remember what we talked about? Are you strong in God today? Are you putting on that whole armor that you're going to be able to stand against the temptations of the devil that you're going to be able to fight on? in your faith for God today. We hope you enjoyed this. Remember to like and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Twitch. Remember to help us out by sharing the video if you want. And Lord willing, we will have another episode of The Blind Pastor Plays. Till then, guys, take care of yourself and blessed wishes.